Hi everyone, this is Dr. Jyoti Bala. I welcome you all on my YouTube channel. In this session, we will be exploring about triple negative breast cancer. It is the most aggressive, rare and harder to treat breast cancer. In my previous videos, I have already mentioned that I have done my PhD in breast cancer from GNU India. My project was revolving around the molecular therapeutic approach via aptamer technology against breast cancer. So let's get started and see what is triple negative breast cancer, what are their challenges and what are the treatment which are available. As I said, this is the least common breast cancer but it is hardest to treat and only few current treatment options are available for triple negative breast cancer. They also have the higher rate of recurrence which makes this disease a challenging disease. Triple negative breast cancer is that breast cancer which tests negative for three receptors which are estrogen receptor, progesterone receptor and HER2. Because of this, the targeted therapies are also very difficult in case of triple negative breast cancer. Because in case of patients who are having positive estrogen and progesterone receptors, they can be treated via hormonal therapies and those who are positive for HER2, they can be treated with targeted therapies. But because triple negative breast cancers are lacking these receptors, so targeted therapies are difficult in this scenario. Let's explore the risk factor for triple negative breast cancer and who are at the risk. The female and the ladies with obesity with high body mass index BMI have higher risk of developing breast cancer. The another factor is age. The women under the age of 50s are also at the high risk of developing triple negative breast cancer. Then there are certain genetic factors and genes which are associated with triple negative breast cancers. There are several genes which are associated with the high risk of breast cancer. One such example is BRCA gene mutation. Let's see how you can diagnose the triple negative breast cancer. If you are noticing some small and hard lump in your breast, then you can consult your doctors and get the routine scan and routine checkup done. They might ask you for tissue sampling testing, biopsy and needle tests and other pathology tests. Based on that, your doctors and oncology team can decide the stages of the cancer depending on the size of the tumor and spread level of these cancers. The stage 0 is that stage where breast cancer has not spread from its original size and it is confined to the duct or lobule and it is non-invasive. But in the stages 1 to 3, the cancer becomes invasive and it spread to the breast tissue. The tumor size is also larger here. The spread is there but the spread is not beyond the breast and lymph node at these stages. In the stage 4, the cancer has spread to the other organs and tissue beyond the breast such as lungs, bones, brain and liver. Let's see what are the current treatment for triple negative breast cancer. Hormonal therapies are not that effective against triple negative breast cancer since they lack the estrogen receptor and progesterone receptor. So other options are surgery depending on the size of the tumor, family history, spread level, what are the risk factor of the patient, the personal preference and the level of genetic mutation. Based on these factors, the cases can vary from patients patient to patient and based on the cases they have to either go for the partial or full breast cancer surgery where removal of one or removal of both the breasts are required. The another option is radiation. Radiation is also very commonly used in such patients to kill the cancer cell via radiation but the side effects in cases of radiation and chemotherapies are high. In case of triple negative breast cancer mostly the chemotherapy and combination therapies are utilized. So depending on cases to cases and uh, based on your doctor advice, suitable planning can be done by the doctor advice. Recently, new medicine poly ADP ribose polymerase inhibitor, PARP inhibitors can destroy the cancer cells and they are also now approved via FDA to treat the triple negative breast cancer. I hope you have liked this session. Don't forget to like and subscribe the channel and do share these information among your scientific community. Thank you.